Hey guys, welcome back. So now that we've retopologized both the back and the front, what we're going to do is right click remesh all duplicate. What this is gonna do, press A, what this is gonna do is create a duplicate of Items and now you have the original version plus the uh, duplicated mesh version. So this is the uh, retopologized stuff. This is the original. You have both of them now. So the next thing we need to do is either we sew all of this and weld it and just, then just export or what we can do is just go into file export and export the OPJ going into whatever file path works for you so To save this as dress information. And one very important thing that we need to do before we do this is go into the UV editor, and here you can see that UVs for the uh, new mesh has also been created. Make sure to scale that properly and just place it on top of this one. Okay, now going into export again. Dress information. Select all avatars, thin, welded, single object, unified UV coordinates. Don't need any of these. Okay, next we boot up Maya. So inside Autodesk Maya, now we just need to open up our file and import that in here. So I'm just gonna drag and drop the OBJ file. It's gonna have one mesh with the avatar and everything. So select this going to mesh click separate that should separate everything for you so for this we don't really need the base anymore just this with the eyes so now you can see we have these four different uh, meshes that are combining to make this that's because we didn't actually stitch that in any segments back in uh, Marvelous if you want to do that you can go in and stitch all of this one by one all of these points needs to be stitched or uh, you can just drag with the free sewing and do that over here I'm just going to merge the vertexes but you can pretty much see the difference in Topology, like you just merge this into one. So 
So let's turn on RGB, and you can see that this is the read apologize version, and this was the base version that Marvelous Designer created for us. So there's a huge chunk of difference between both of these. And this one is going to be a lot easier to rig or texture or do anything with as compared to this. So we're going into the UA coordinates. You can see that we have some pretty clean UVs here. And this thing, I mean, it has its own set. But uh, just for baking purposes, you don't really need UVs on your uh, high poly, you just need it on the low poly because the information is baked on the UVs. So that's it for a uh, retopology from Marvelous Designer to Autodesk Maya. I hope you find this video series useful. But uh, we could take this one step further with uh, me showing you how to bake this on top of this. But uh, the general idea I had behind what I wanted to show you guys was that how you can easily retopologize your mesh when you bring it from Marvelous into Autodesk Maya. Before this, what you had to do was uh, you had to. Uh, bring this with the the uh, 2d mesh also and you had to quad, quad draw on top of it then you had to transfer uh, attributes the uv attributes and then transfer the vertex points and it was a whole uh, other process but marvelous designer just gave you the tools to re topologize inside of its software which you can later bring into autodesk maya you may have to uh, you know manually go in here and select all of these these select uh, the side ones press 4 and then you might have to like Shift right click and merge vertexes and that should merge it for you. You see this part here is not merged and we have to do the same for uh, that. But generally you get the point, right? I mean, it's uh, the same stuff but this one has cleaner topology if you just subdivide it a bit more you'd have all that information as well or you can just bake this information on top of this one so i hope you guys found this video useful and i'll see you next time